minus 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. This is a special edition of Half Faith Let It Begin. One year ago, we put a stop to the woodchucks. We put the woodchuck wall in effect. We dug down almost a foot and a half. We put cement, rocks, glass. We put the metal wall against my sheds and the woodchucks never returned. Update. While walking Cody this morning... The woodchucks have infiltrated my home. They have dug a hole right next to my front door. This is a special message for the woodchucks. The war has just begun. Have faith, let it begin. Angel vs. the woodchucks. New chapter starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say, have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say, have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah! Hi, Noah. <laughs> Noah. Oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Okay. Oh, Noah. Have faith, live again. When it starts right now. Hello, everyone. Yes, special edition. They're back. They are back. Can you believe this? I can't believe it. We put the wall up. We knew that that was going to solve the problem. And you know what? It did. They didn't return. And now, as I'm walking the dog... As I head back home, I didn't see it when I first walked out, but I certainly saw it when I came back in. There's a hole, a gigantic hole that's directly to my left, if you're facing my front door, infiltrating underneath the home. What do we do now? How do we stop it? How does this begin? And how will this end? I know it's Holy Week. I know you have to respect and honor your neighbors, but these woodchucks just won't stop. It's as if they called their cousins and their uncles from other families and they said, Hey, we're going to have to go in the other way because uh, Angel took care of us one way, but now this means war. So that means they've declared war on me. What do you do? What can I do? How can I stop it? Now, remember, I'm not in for this to try to hurt the woodchucks. I just want them to go away. But I guess the only way to do it is to really cement down everything. I'm declaring war on the woodchucks. I'm declaring war on their family. They will not. They cannot win. The war has just begun. Let us pray for those woodchucks. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for continuing to be a part of our life. We thank you for understanding the importance of knowing our family, our friends, our brothers and sisters, our nieces and our nephews. We thank you, Lord, for always being a part of our lives. We lift up in prayer many of our friends that are dealing with so much right now. We're praying for the family of Charlene. We're praying for the family of Joe. We're praying for Brayden a child that is going through some stuff right now. We pray for the Susan and her family. We pray for Braden's mother and father. We lift up in prayer our congregations, our churches, 
We ask you, Lord, to continue to be with us today and every day. You know, as we get closer and closer to um, Holy Week and Easter Sunday, the resurrection, you know, we want to stop and think about all that he has done for us, all that he has sacrificed. Now, obviously, this show has its its fun times. I mean, you know, the whole thing with the woodchucks is is a good humor. It's, it is true what's happening, you know, and we're going to try to solve the issue. I try to bring humor um, to this show and to this platform. When it comes to prayer, we must remember that a day without prayer is a day without power. And all of us have that power. We have the ab- ability to forgive and forget. We have ability to move forward. We have an opportunity and a choice to be kind to one another. Let's do that today and every day. Amen. And to the woodchucks, all I'm asking you to do is dig a hole somewhere else. Dig a hole somewhere else. Because I'm telling you right now, you are not welcome where I live. Heck, you can even dig a hole near the um, the other sheds. I mean, you could try. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work. But please, understand that what we're about to do, what we're going to do together, is nonstop of <laughs> back and forth. It's going to be like tennis. You served the first round. You've got the first win. You dug a hole and you found a new place. But understand this. I will put you away with a huge ace right down the middle. And it will end up being love 40 or 40 love. I couldn't do the right reference. All right, I tried. The point I'm making is you're going down. But you're not going down without a fight. And I know that. So get ready. Because Angel's coming for you. All right, guys. Have a great day. We'll keep you informed as to what's going on and transpiring with the woodchucks. I hope I gave you a little laugh this morning, and I hope you have a blessed day. God bless you. Uh, May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith, let it begin. I'm coming for you, woodchucks. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730 Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we (laughs) impress. She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.